This is an example solution to one of the problems in the mass, weight, and gravity problem set from sciencepprimer.com. This problem set provides questions in a couple of different formats. I'm just going to go through one right now. The one that I've chosen right from the page, the website, asks, given that the acceleration due to gravity on a newly discovered planet is 14.3 meters per second squared, calculate the mass of an object with a weight of 0.27 newtons. And it's a, you're asked to give your answer to the nearest tenth of a gram. So let's look at the things you need to know in order to solve this problem. The first thing is the relationship between mass, gravity, and weight. So mass times gravity equals weight. And the units for each of these mass can be in either grams or kilograms. And remember, a kilogram is a thousand grams. Gravity is a force, and the units of this is meters per second squared. And then finally, weight. In this case, it's given to us in newtons. So weight can be in newtons, but in order to solve this, you need to know another, what newtons are equivalent to. And it comes right out of this formula. If this is in grams or kilograms, let's use kilograms, and gravity is in meters per second squared, if you multiply kilograms by meters per second squared, you get weight. So that must mean that a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So these are the this is the equation you're going to be working with. These are the units you're going to be working with. So now the first step, once you know that, is to solve the equation for the unknown. Using this equation. So what we are trying to find in this particular example is mass. So we don't want to use this form of the, the equation. We want mass to be alone. So we want mass to equal some relationship between gravity and weight. So let's start with the first what we're given, mass times gravity equals weight. So in order to get mass, isolate mass, multiple, divide each side by gravity. Divide both sides by gravity. In this case, gravity will cancel, and you end up with mass equals weight divided by gravity. So m equals w over g. So this is the equation we're going to solve. These are the units we're going to use. Now let's figure out what the known, what, what we do and don't know in this problem. So over here, we will say list the parameters, mass, gravity, and weight. So mass is the unknown, so we'll call that x. Gravity is 14, oops, not 9, 14, point three meters per second squared, and weight is 0 0.27. In this case, we'll go ahead and use kilograms per meters per second squared because that's what we're going to me need to be working on. Kilograms meters per second squared. Okay, so now we have we have the unknown and the, the value of the two other variables and the equation we need to solve. So let's go to another page and we have this information again the equation we're going to solve and the information we know of from the question. So let's now, uh, so now we're talking about step two, is to write the equation we need to solve. So 
just replace the x, which is mass, equals 0 0.27 kilograms meters per second squared divided by 14.3 meters per second squared. And since we have meters per second squared on the top of the bottom, they cancel. The units will become kilograms. And the answer to this is 0 0.0189 kilograms. But if you remember, the problem asks us to, pr to provide the answer to the nearest tenth of a gram. So we have kilograms, we want uh, grams, so a final step is to convert to proper units. So if we have 0 0.0189 kilograms, we know that it's 1,000 grams per kilogram. The kilograms will cancel. We'll end up with grams as the unit. And the answer will be 18.9 grams. So this is the answer we would put into the website. Now, just to cap this off and just talk about what you need to know to answer these questions, things to remember. Because as I said, these questions have several different formats. The first one are units, unit relationships. You may be given newtons, and in order to solve this, you have to remember that a newton is equal to a kilogram meter per second squared. Since you also might be asked to find grams when given units like newtons, which are in kilograms, you also need to remember that one kilogram equals 1,000. So those are the two unit relationships you need to remember. And the second thing is you need to have a comfort level with solving for the unknown. And there could be any one of, th since there's three unknowns, you need to be able to solve for all of them. You have the original problem, which is basically says weight equals mass times gravity. So if you're asked to find weight, use this equation. If you're asked to find mass, we already know that one. Mass equals weight divided by gravity. And finally, if you're asked to solve gravi find gravity, you have to know that if you t you're trying to find gravity, divide, you start with this equation, divide both sides by mass, you end up with weight over mass equals gravity. And that's what you need to know to solve these problems. Follow the link below to get back to the problem set. And feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.